Hey everyone, it's me Santino Varela and I have a very congratulatory announcement to make right now. You see, there's this YouTube show called Wrestle With This and these Santa Magans, they're celebrating their 20th edition and it's their flagship series, WWT Showcase. Anyway, enjoy. Do yourself a favor and subscribe because this show is the number one show in the universe. Trust me, I'm not lying. And also, I have a message from the Cobra. He told me to tell you that during these times, these times of quarantine, these are the quarantines, try not to be a son of a guy. get much bigger than that a special thank you to the milan miracle himself santino morella for kicking us off and ladies and gentlemen it's been a long winding road but we have finally made it 20 editions the big 20 the 20th milestone dawn of wwt showcase i am dodger oban crust joined by don donaldson and don it's gonna be a good night it is going to be an epic event. 20 editions in the making. Two mega matches. I can't wait to, to get into this, to sink my teeth into this action. Well, you can't wait. I can't wait. And we know that the people can't wait. They've been waiting a long time, so let's not make them wait anymore. It's time for the triple threat between Mega Mondo, Tim McLaw, and Isvan Gustenschlamen. It's a three-way dance, and it's for the World Championship. Don, let's get it on. Now Don Isvan went straight through that plexiglass barricade at the contract signing. You got an up-close and personal look at that. Isvan's ribs are taped. He's not at 100% here tonight. He got strudled all over the mat last time we saw him in the ring. And I oh, wait a minute. Oh! And just like that, Tim McLaw, the COVID conqueror, is here. Tim McLaw not wasting any time. He's taking full advantage of Isvan's rib injury. He is all over the schnitzel slinger. And the match hasn't even started yet. Mondo's not even at ringside. Choking him out with that towel. That's not legal ref. Get in there. I mean, I'd say I'm shocked, but in all honesty, I'm not. This is a blood feud that goes back a long time. These guys absolutely despise each other. And oh, Isfahn's ribs right into the ring post. Generations of detest right there, as you see. Tim McGlow wearing the gold chain that was given to him by El Presidente. It's all over today. Wiener schnitzel, man. Tim McLaw says, as shiny as that trophy is, the goal the that he's Hero looking Hero for Hero. is the WWT World title. Hero. That's the final piece that Hero. he needs Hero. to fulfill the puzzle Hero. that is his championship mantle. Hero. And if he takes Isfahn out of the equation, he might be able to do it. Oh, but Isfahn with a spear. The schnitzel slinger is on the attack. Isvan injected himself into that celebration like a vaccine, taking it right to Tim McGlaw. Payback is coming in the form of a pretzel man. And now Isvan, you can see the fire in his eyes. These two men despise each other. They may take each other out of the game before Mondo even gets out here, Don. This could be one of the easiest matches Mondo's ever been in. And the referee is gonna, I guess, why would anyone try to separate these two? And now here, finally comes the champion. I don't know why Mondo didn't just stay in the back and let this happen. Now, if I was Mondo, I'd just let these two beat the hell out of each other. You know, you say that and I said that, but Mondo's not that kind of champion. He's one who loves to fight and loves to prove himself at every chance. And that's exactly what he's gonna do right here. And let's not forget that this 
is the first sanctioned match. Oh, Mondo with a double shoulder block. This is the first sanctioned title match that Mondo has been in that's been put together by me, by the company. This is not an open challenge. You gotta wonder if that's gonna play a factor in this. Well, I know every time you do something, you kind of got to be looking over your shoulder wondering where the knife's going to go in his back. Mondo has full advantage here. The bell finally rings. And now the Mega Ape is splashing both the Cowboy and the German Schnitzel Champion. Blowing right through that purple mist into each competitor, slamming them back first into each turnbuckle. Mondo like a runaway locomotive, looking to steamroll both challengers early. The Gorilla Gravy Train chugging along, taking out competitors on every stop. Now what is this? Look at Mondo, Isfahn on the shoulders. And the strength of Mondo, Gorilla Press Slam by the ape of WWT. Gorilla Press is apropos for this purple monster as he just cleared the ring of all competitors. And Mondo, he is feeling it. This might be an easy night for the mega champion. Making it look easy. He is the fighting champ of WWT. What is that? Wait, Isfahn, that looks like a piece of plexiglass. Why is that laying there? Is that the same plexiglass that Isfahn went through with the contract signing? No, if it is, it. oh my god, if it is, then payback is a you know what. Isfahn looking to put the plexiglass through the skull of the champion. My god, why is that still here? I've always told you we need to get a better cleaning crew. There's no reason for that. Come on, Isfahn. Three shots stiffer than a frozen schnitzel right to the brow ridge. And it's all legal in a triple threat. It shows you the quest for gold will lead men to do crazy things, even things beyond what they would typically do personality-wise, but that's not... Oh, oh, Isfahn hit hard. That's not out of character from a claw by any means. Oh, wait a minute, is this what I think it is? Yes, it is! A blast from the past! Shades of the honky-tonk! Will McLaw shake, rattle, and roll his way to the title? No, Isfahn breaks it up. Isfahn in there to break up the pin. I thought McGall was going to add another hit to his collection. And now they're both fighting over the cover. Wait, One, they're both pinning two, on Oh, no, double champion, no. That was going to be a mess. That ref was going to have to clear up. Here we go. My God, these two are just pistol whipping each other. We've seen this a million times. These two trading blows in the center of the ring. Uh-oh. Oh, wait, oh, now they just turned their attention to the champion. Noticing the bigger threat. No, I think what it is is they just want to get Mondo out of the picture so they can get back to beating the hell out of one another. Yeah, there you go. McLaw turns on his spot. It was only a matter of time, and you kind of knew who was going to be the first one to, to do that. Isfahn ducks the Larry. Oh, and a shotgun drop kick drops McLaw. Beautifully done. Easily one of the most deceivingly athletic competitors in WWT, Isfahn Gushenslamen. Every part of his body a weapon, a well-trained schnitzel slammer. The Gushen Schlamans trained in many forms of combat, and Isfahn is the pinnacle of it. Oh, wait a minute. Don, is that what I think it is? Good is that Lord. the Cobra? What? We already saw Santino early, and now a little shade of Santino here in this championship match. My God, could you imagine if Isfahn uses the Cobra on the night Santino oh, kicked yes. off the Big 20? Boom, right there it is. A Venom-induced strike. Oh, McLaw kicked out. How did he do it? Well, that goes to show he's not a trained professional in Cobra taming like Santino, but still, I thought that was going to be a championship winning shot. Every ounce of venom and vinegar went into the Cobra strike, but somehow McLaw survived. Not sure how he got out of it. I mean, he did beat COVID-19, but I didn't think he'd be able to also take out a, you know, be able to withstand a Cobra. You end right now. Santino Morello is definitely looking on with a smile 
Oh, but McLaw's not smiling right now, my god! Ispawn is just driving McLaw's face into the apron over and over! Good luck fitting that cowboy hat back on with the, the bumps and bruises that are gonna swell up that noggin. Good lord! This is a blood feud that goes back farther than Lions versus Hyenas, and Ispawn would love nothing more than to cripple McLaw like Tim did to Ispawn's uncle Listen so many years ago. What you did to my family, I pay for it right now. You son of a bitch. Man, Ispawn sees nothing but red. Oh, oh God, wait a minute. Ispawn, Ispawn! Oh! oh! Gooshed and Schlam just drove McLaw's cranium right into the edge of the hardest part of the ring and McLaw is out like a light. McLaw tune in hope in dreamland right now as his lights are out. Pretzel man! Oh, what a roundhouse kick! Ispawn looking to turn Mondo's lights out. No, Mondo powers out of the Gooshed and Schlam. I don't know if Mondo's head is the right place to attack. I mean, he seems to be able to take a lot of punishment there. Now these two guys, wait a minute. Oh, Isfahn, Isfahn countered the splash into a triangle choke. Mondo trying to power out. Is, I have never seen Isfahn as determined as he is right now. He's pulling out all the stops. Now Isfahn, oh God, look at the power of the champion with a power bomb. Unreal strength from the Gorilla Man. Mondo, oh, Isfahn rolled out of the way of the splash. And now Isfahn looking for a splash of his own and Mondo catches him. Uh -oh. oh, he needed that rope to save himself. Mondo's got it locked in, squeezing the schnitzel out of Isfahn. Isfahn turned into a rag doll by the great ape of the WWT. Oh, there's the bell oh, right clap. The ears. Isfahn underneath the legs and now puts Mondo in a sleeper. Here's what you gotta do, you gotta get him off that vertical base. You gotta get the big man down on the campus. Here's Spawn, a well-studied, well-wrestled machine here. Ispawn told Mondo on Twitter that he was gonna wrestle circles around the champion, and he might be on the verge of doing it. Mondo might it. be out. This is it. No, he, he's finding life. Mega Mondo, summoning up strength. Oh, oh, no, Mondo powers out again with a snapmare. That's one way to break the hold. Looking for the power slam. Oh, wait, Isfahn rolled through the power slam, and now he's got an ankle lock. Isfahn scouting out all of these power moves by, by the champ. My God, Isfahn came to play tonight. He said the tsunami of the Goosh and Schlamann would crash on the WWT, and we might be seeing it right now. No, oh, now Mondo powers out again. Good Lord, Don. We are going tit for tat. Technical prowess versus pure unmitigated power. Isfahn's had a counter for power moves uh, up until there. Oh, my. That'll snap your back in half. Mega Flattener drives Isfahn's ribs right into the match, and Mondo might be, he is dazed. No, wait, oh, he's looking for the Harambe block. Getting up ahead of steam. Oh, Isfahn, oh, what a counter. Wow. Again, making sure to take out that vertical base, and Isfahn may have it won. Right into the schnitzel stretch. Isfahn told Mondo that he would never allow Mondo to hit the Harambe block, and he made it up. He was a man of his word, and now he is just torquing away. I don't know if anybody's ever broken this hold, have they, Dodge? Not to my knowledge, and I don't think Mondo's going to. Mondo's out cold. Where does he keep finding that strength? The will to stay champion. Good, good Lord, Mondo is he's powering out again. I don't know where he's finding this. This this back and forth is unbelievable. Mondo with this on a Oh, McLaw went low. Dirty, dirty moves, but all's fair in a three-way dance. We saw the Cobra, but McLaw's the true snake in the grass. And now he's lining up his shot. Are we gonna see it? 
Boom! Lawbreaker! That'll be it! Oh, that's the crowd pleaser right there. McGraw wasting no time looking for the title. One, two. Oh, Isfahn. McGraw might have had the title one, and Isfahn pulled the referee out. Now, normally I don't condone actions like that, but I really don't want to see McGraw as the title holder, so. Wait, what is McGraw doing? Oh, what the hell? McGraw flies. I haven't seen McLaw pull that out of the bag in nearly two decades. When the title's on the line, your body and your well-being mean nothing. And now Mondo with a double clothesline. My God, are we in the land of Oz because I didn't think monkeys could fly here. That was incredible. Game over, pretzel. This is unbelievable, Don. We are seeing history making moments right here at Showcase 20. Again, 20 additions in the making. Titles on the line. Well, McLaw has got the gold. Oh, right to the back. Right to the kidney with that presidential gold. And I guarantee you the leader of the nation didn't intend for that award to be used like that. Now McLaw loading his shot, a gold-infused lawbreaker, aiming for Isfahn's head. Oh, wait a minute. Oh! Oh, God! Isfahn with the schnitzel and, and McLaw with the chain. I think they knocked each other out. Absolutely brutal. And Mondo climbing back up. Oh, no. Mondo perching himself up high. Isfahn and McLaw have done caved each other's heads in. The challengers are in the splash zone. Mondo with the finishing touch right there. One, two, and three, it's over. Mega! Mondo pins both McLaw and Isfahn after they took each other out of the title game. I don't know if Mondo so much retained as he just survived that epic battle. Isvan and McLaw definitely brought their A-plus games here tonight, but they were so consumed with ending each other that they ended their title aspirations in the process. And Don, you might be right. Mondo may have only just survived this one, but survival is the name of the game in the depths of the jungle. Congratulations, Mega Mondo, a worthy champ.
I, I don't know what the hell that was, but we're going to try to move on, Don. We are getting set. That was a nightmare come to life, Dodge, is what that was. I hate those guys. Yeah, that. Uh, we're sorry for anybody that may have nightmares after that, but we're going to try to continue on here because, Don, this is the one I've been waiting for. Tonight is the night. I can feel it. I can sense it. El Azul is going to prove to the world that dreams do come true. It's El Azul and Mike James for the Continental title. Not that long ago, Mike James climbed the mountain. The ultimate, the consummate underdog did it. A childhood dream. And now, someone looking to follow in his footsteps. El Azul looking for that crowning moment. The ultimate achievement of his career in WWT. It's going to be a showdown. Don, I'm telling you right now, this is going to be a show stealer. Well, I don't know if I, I would go that far because, you know, I, I really don't think that anything can top that last match. But if there was going to be someone who was going to do it, it could be these two because El Azul has a lot to prove. Look at him hot stepping right there in the middle of the ring. And he's going up against the man he's trying to emulate, the man who took the underdog status and flipped it on its head to become a champion, Mike James. I can't wait. I signed El Azul from Chihuahua, Mexico many months ago because this man, I don't care what anybody says, he is a legend. He is one of the pure best athletes in the world, and he's going to prove it tonight. His track record in the WWT is not great, I will admit that. But everybody can have a bad start. It's how you finish that matters, Don. And tonight, he is going to cross that finish line with flying colors. You know, you talk about not having success early and seeing if you can turn it around. And nobody exemplifies that more than this man right here, Mike James, who was kind of the, 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 the loser of the WWT. No offense to Mike, but just couldn't find success. And then all of a sudden, with a little luck and a little determination, the man becomes a champion, defying all odds. Now, let, let's, let's, let's just be honest, Don. The only reason he's found success is because Dick Williams has taken Mike James under his wing. And you know, I think that's a bad influence on Mike James. I don't think he needs to be anywhere near Dick Williams. Mike James did this on his own, and, and Dick Williams is not somebody he needs to be associated with. Well, it's paid off pretty well for him so far. He's the Continental Champion. Well, you know, it, I don't know. I still I still don't think it, it's, a, it's a partnership made in heaven by any means. Mike keeps saying that Dick Williams is his best friend. But you saw what happened on Dick, too. You know, Dick was in there stirring the pot between these two when it should just be a nice, clean championship match. We don't need any type of hatred. We don't need a McGlaw versus Ishvan type of blood feud. Just two competitors going at it, trying to prove themselves. Well, we're going to get that here tonight because I've went ahead and made the precautions. There will be no interference in this match. Dick Williams is not here. I want to give Ella Sewell the biggest opportunity and the cleanest opportunity he has. I want him to beat Mike James right here tonight. I saw on Twitter Dick Williams was not happy about not being allowed in here. Dick Dick's not here. Well, look at this no little sportsmanship. No, 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 no. Ombre to ombre. One underdog to another underdog. Let's have a good match. Mike James is one of the most trustworthy guys in this organization. Oh, what a nice scene right here at the beginning of the Continental oh, Championship. Oh, wow. Oh. You underdog. El Azul told Mike, I'm no underdog. I'm a legend, and he might prove it right here with a quick roll. Oh, no. no. Mike with a counter. No, no, no. El Azul with the counter. Oh, wow. Pin for pin. One, two, no. My God, another schoolboy. Good Lord, that is how you start a match. That was that was unbelievable. Both guys coming out hot. I've not seen this much fire out of El Azul since he joined. And I think Mike is a little shook. He was totally caught off guard by the Blue Dream. Now El Azul ducks the Lariat up and over right into the arm drag. 
One thing we've seen out of these two competitors is El Azul typically does start fast. The sooner he can end this, the better it's gonna be for El Azul. Whereas Mike James, that man can take some punishment. The longer this goes, the more it favors the champ. Well, let's hope he can, because he just got drop kicked all the way out of the ring. And now El Azul with a crossbody over the top rope. And Mike is reeling early. I can hear the cheers from Chihuahua, Mexico, all the way up here. That town's going nuts. Man, El Azul came to play tonight. He is not messing around, and I think Mike James, Mike doesn't know what hit him. El Azul looking for the win, no. Thus. You know, one thing that we don't talk about much is Mike James is not used to fighting from the top. He's used to being in that underdog position, not having to defend, which is exactly where El Azul finds himself right now. And you gotta wonder if, if Mike James, if, if the Continental title hasn't gotten to his head a little bit, did he come into this overlooking the blue dream? You gotta remember where you came from, Mike. You gotta have that fighting spirit. Well, now there it is. He looks like he's about to bring the fight to El Azul. And look, he threw El Azul so hard that Goose even fell off the apron, that stupid duck. El Azul better be careful. That mask in the head inside may oh, be laying on the floor before too long. God, Ooh. the head yeah. might be swelling after that yeah. boot Serious to the skull. Shit, baby. Wow. That was for Goose. Big leg drop. One, two, and no. No, El Azul gets the shoulder up. It's going to take a lot more than that. I know for a fact El Azul is focused here tonight. I had a long conversation with him earlier, and he is at the top of his game. I promise you that. Well, you know, the seeds from this feud really kind going, of stem Mike? back to that tag again. match with Wells Mania not long ago. It did, and on that night, El Azul brought the fight to Mike James. Oh, like Mike James just brought his leg right across the sternum of El Azul with a leg drop from the second row. Both men still kind of from? figuring each other out right now. I think it is kind of a clash of styles so far. I'm trying to help you. How am I supposed to spread Dick's message? Well, there you if go. You Mike is it. saying, how am I supposed to spread Dick's message? I, he is doing this for Dick Williams. And look, this is a side of Mike James that we haven't seen much before. Mike just throwing closed fists. Sorry. Well, you know, Mike might be a little ticked too that Dick wasn't able to be here. God, and there's shades of Dick Williams with the fist drop. No, no, it wasn't enough. As hard as it is for me to say this, Dick may be rubbing off on Mike. Come on. This one is for my buddy Dick, who's not here. Mike James looking to set up the blue dream, but no Azul fighting out of it, throwing fists. Looking to go high. Oh no, Azul face plants into the mat. Don, was was Mike James looking to hit the dick drop? I think he was. He is, look at that. Oh, Spike DDT. Modified version of the dick drop. My God, that might be it. One, two. Oh, so close. The continental dream of El Azul stays alive for now. I'm sorry, Dick. Well, you can't expect anybody to hit a dick drop as good as the original. No, if Dick Williams had done that, this match would be over. I know how to shut him up. Come on, brother! El Azul has got to get back in this. Mike James, he is looking to drive his boot right through the skull of El Azul. He is setting up for that serious kick. Mike looking to extinguish the legendary flame of the Blue Dream. No, Azul avoids the kick. Here we go, springboard, back elbow, and the champion is rocked. There's some fight left in that blue man. Oh, Falcon Arrow. My God, the flame, the flame of Azul. No, and Mike kicks out. I thought we were gonna have a new champion right there. You know, the one thing about fighting a man in a mask is you really can't see any of the facial expressions to let you know, hey, he's starting to recover. Mike is hurt, though. El Azul needs to stay on Mike James. He is so close. He is so close to seizing that dream, Don. What a turnaround for a career this would be for El Azul. Come on, El. Still looking for that elusive first win in WWT. Boy! 
Going to the high ground. Oh no, Mike rolls out of the way. El Azul, oh wait a minute, Mike! Oh God, serious oh, kick! Oh no! That's it. Dream oh, over. Two, Dream, oh God! Three. Did he get it? My God, El Azul got the shoulder up! The shoulder was up! He got up from a serious kick, oh my right. God! Are we sure that's the same El Azul under that mask? I told you, El Azul, oh he ain't gonna die What's tonight. The dream will survive. Oh How is he doing this? Where is he finding the will? Mike oh, is in disbelief. Geez. But I hear you. I don't think What's anybody that? in the world other than El Azul thought he could do. get it's up from fly, brother. The legend of Chihuahua, Mexico, living up to his name here tonight. All doubters and cynics be damned. A legend. Straight from south of the border, coursing through his veins as Mike James is trying to figure out how to beat this man. Mike is taking a lot of time climbing to that rope, Don. It's one foot. And this really isn't Mike James's game. He's not an aerial guy. He does like to deliver that elbow. You gotta believe that's where he's going, but he Roll is taking a whole lot of time to get up there. He's gonna, oh, there it was, El Azul! Oh, oh man, oh, Mike James just ate it hard. That floor is not forgiving, and Mike James' back is finding out about it right now. Mike James just bounced off the floor like a basketball on a court. Uh. Chiropractors everywhere are cheering about that because someone's getting some business after this match. That might be the game changer right there. Mike James, that was a hard bump. He fell from the second row, back first onto the floor. El Azul needs to capitalize. El Azul needs to get Mike James back in the ring because he can't win the title on a count out. Oh, good Lord. Seating Senton off the apron. El Azul is feeling it. He is feeling it, Don. I'm feeling it. The world is feeling it. The dream might be on the verge of walking out with continental silver. Mike James, I don't think he knows what hit him. I mean, as I said earlier, he can take a lot of punishment, but I don't think tonight he was expecting he was gonna get it. Come on, Azul. Climb to the sky. Prove to the world that you can do it. This is for you, Eddie. El Azul pointing to the heavens. He is in the clouds, ladies and gentlemen. He is gonna fly! Oh my God, Cinco Star Splash! This is it, El Azul's childhood dream on! Dream on! Oh my God, Mike kicked out! That was too. That was too. So, inches away from victory. He's looking for it again, and no, oh, Mike no. gets the shoulder up again. My oh, God, El Azul no. could feel it. He was a millimeter away from seizing the dream. What's it gonna take for one of these guys to come out victorious, throwing everything they've got at each other? Mike is hurt. One more big move. One more big move, and we have got a new champion. El Azul. Going deep into the arsenal. The repertoire. He's looking for that rolling senton. Oh wait, Mike with Oh my god, El Azul landed on his feet into the springboard. Oh my god! Oh my god, he got caught with the kick. Oh my god. All that fancy footwork looked to a mouth Gee. full of teeth. My my God, the athleticism was on full display, but it doesn't mean nothing when you get kicked right in the teeth. Mike James Mike, going up. My God, El Azul. El Azul's three quarters of the way across the ring. But Mike is gonna fly and he nails the goose drop. The G spot. Oh. Mike James retains. Mike retains in one hell of a fight. You gotta give props to El Azul there. He put it all on the line and what a showcase for the man in blue. That was unbelievable. That right there, I'm gonna say it, Don, that was one of the greatest matches I think we have ever seen in the Smash Mouth Arena. And you know what, El Azul, he deserves this respect. Win or lose, he proved tonight that he does belong. He belongs in the WWT. He belongs in the spotlight.
I take it all back what I said earlier. These guys did steal the show hands down. What a match. That is what the Continental Championship is all about. Seizing the spotlight and creating legends. And make no mistake about it, legends do exist. And tonight was living proof. That was the fight of my life. But I'm still the Continental Champion. My James, still on top of that mountain. Still the inspiration to everybody who's ever wanted to accomplish something. Well done. Mr. Goose. Yeah! What a night. What a showcase. Oh, wait a minute. Wait, what the hell? Oh, God! What is going on? Ravishing Anton! The former Continental Champion is back! Oh, God, and he's got Mike James in a Cobra Clutch! Oh, and there's no one to save Mike James. Dick Williams has been locked out of the building. Oh, my God, Anton is choking the life out of the Continental Go Champion! Go sleep. Go sleep. What does this mean? What does this mean? We haven't seen Anton since Slambury! Since he lost the title. Have you forgotten about me, Mike? Hey. Have you? Come on, let him go. Let him go. What are you doing? Oh, man, Mike is out. Get away from me. That was so uncalled for. Oh, wait. What's he doing? What? That? Oh. No, Anton. Oh, we're going back. Don, I think, I think that's the remnants of the table. That hey, Anton no, 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 went no, through no, at no, Slambury no, no. that, that inevitably was the end of his title reign. No, 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 no. Good Lord, I told you this cleaning crew is absolutely terrible. How long ago was that? Oh, oh, wait, oh, that was uncalled for. Anton just clocked Senior Arbitro right in the, right in the head. Anton's always had a mean streak, but he looks like he's gone to another level. Oh God! Oh Straight no! Don't me. do this! Oh my oh, God! Anton. Oh. oh no! Anton about drove the table through Mike James's head. Something. Your Invitational is a farce and a shame to the title I made the greatest of all time. And my baby, she's gonna come back home to Daddy, where she belongs. I think the message has been sent loud and clear. Anton wants his continental title back. Being the greatest champion of all. Well, there's only the one way to get it, and it's going through Mike James. That's right, well, baby. He just made a the pretty big statement right here. Wow. It has been a treacherous journey, but it was worth the trip. The Big 20 definitely lived up to the hype. I can't wait for 21. Make sure to like and subscribe so you don't miss any Smash Mouth action.